Let's talk about Bonner Boy. Bonner Boy, the Africa giant. With his speed, with the acceleration Bonner Boy took after that album, twice as tall. It kind of like make every other Africa giant look like monkey. Why him? He is the gorilla, the King Kong, when it comes to the African music entertainment industry as at today. Now it has been established that Bonner Boy is now currently the Africa highest paid artist. In fact, it was paid 1.1 million US dollars to headline the 2022 World Krilo Music Festival in Dominic. It was also paid 750,000 US dollars twice to perform twice as Coachella in 2023. And apparently, Bona Boy turned down the sum of 5 million US dollars. That's approximately more than a billion naira in Nigeria currency offered to him to perform in Dubai. He turned it down, of course, because of weed. And one million US dollar offer to him to perform in Nigeria. He also turned down one million US dollars offer to perform in his very own country. Well, I do not understand why he decided not to perform in his very own country. The country that made him who he is today, well, I don't know the details about that, but it was established that Bonaboy turned down one million US dollars to perform in Nigeria. Well, currently, even with those performers that he ignored, Bonaboy is still the highest grossing tour artist in Africa. And 14 of his tours so far has grossed more than 15 million US dollars. Well, guys, like I've said before, ever since Bonner Boy dropped African Giant and twice as tall, the acceleration it took, he knew he wasn't waiting for anybody. He knew he wasn't going to cut corners or allow anybody to step on him. He said it was twice as tall, and he actually meant those words. Well, let me list out some of our Bonner Boy's tours so far. Bonner Boy has uh, performed, as of last year, stroke this year only, Bonner Boy has performed at Paris La Devise Arena, and that place grossed 2.86 million US dollars. Madison Square Garden grossed 1.5 million US dollars. Ziggo Dome grossed 1.5 million US dollars. Capital One Arena grossed 1.4 million US dollars. O2 Arena grossed 1.3 million US dollars. BMO Stadium grossed 1.2 million US dollars. Then State Farm Arena, 905,000 US dollars. Oakland Arena, 885,000 US dollars. And Helen Stadium, $822,000. US dollars. Then additional financial arena grows six hundred and thirty-six million thousand US dollars. America Airline Center grows five hundred and fifty-nine thousand US dollars. Climate Pledge Arena, four hundred and ninety-five thousand US dollars. Rogers Palace. 450,000 US dollar and Theory Arena 378,000 US dollar and he is still currently on tour. He just recently sold out two nights in Canada, two nights in a row in Canada with more than 21,000 capacity and he is still on the move. He hasn't stopped yet. In fact, the only artist before, after Bonaboy, like the only artist before and after Bonner Boy to even come close to his achievements so far when it comes to performing, the only artist to ever gross as uh, to ever sell out a venue and gross so much money was Fale the Pooper. 
and in show at Paris La Defense gross total of 3.1 million US dollars. And the next person on that list, I'm talking about Africa, Africa artist, highest grossest uh, concert ever. Africa artist, highest grossing concert ever. We have number one, Fale Ipupa, who at uh, Paris La Defense Arena that grows 3.1 million US dollars. Then number two, again on that list, is Bonaboy. And number three on that list is Bonaboy. Number four on that list is also Bonaboy. Number five on that list is also Bonaboy. Number six on that list is also Bonaboy. Number seven on that list is also Bonaboy. But number eight on that list is Whiskey. Number nine on the list is Whiskey. Number 10 goes back to Bonaboy. Number 11 goes back to Bonaboy. And number 12, Davido. And number 13, we see Asake. But number 14 goes back to Bonner Boy, and number 15 go back to Bonner Boy. Well, of course, you guys see how and why Bonner Boy is tagged with the name Harrogant. Of course, when you know you have so much fans who support you, then why will you care about the internet calling you arrogant? After all, they don't buy your ticket, right? So why are you worried about them calling you arrogant? No. Bonobo has made so, so much uh, references that I myself do not like. Like the other one he made, he, he made about Afrobeat not having substance. That was a no, 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 no for me. And you guys who were following me, you know exactly. I stood against it. I said, Bonobo, boy. We are joking for saying Africa do not have substance. Africa made you who you are. If you do, if Africa for beat, sorry, if Afro beat do not have substance, then do not sing using Afro beat style. Why don't you go to the reggae part? Don't ever use any tune, any instrumental that have to do with Afro beat because Afro beat is the reason why your fans listen to you. Afro beat is the reason why. They buy your ticket. Afrobeat is the entire reason why they are supporting you. Without Afrobeat, you are nothing. You are nothing. In fact, the new GI you brought up, Afrofuse, was bet from Afrobeat. Because you say it's a mixture of so many other things, but you still call it Afro, right? You still call it Af Afro, right? So guys, uh, apart from the arrogancy of our Bonner boy, we cannot take it from him that is not doing the needful. In fact, one of the most needful that I'm seeing for him is that he's paving ways. When it comes to paving ways, like going out there to perform in arenas that we never thought Afrobeat our fans. Going to those cities that we, the Afrobeat artists, other Afrobeat artists, never thought they have fans over there. Bonner Boy is doing it. Bonner Boy is taking those risks. Bonner Boy is taking those risks and selling them out. He is doing it. He's paving way whether you like it or like it or not. And of course, Bonner Boy made it clear that nobody paved the way for him. <laughs> well. So and so and someone out there actually paved the way. Let us be honest, and the Bonner boy learned from someone, which is good though. But people bringing it out and pointing it and enforcing it on him that someone paved way for him. That is what I do not support. Allow him to believe whatever I want to believe. He believe nobody paved way for him. Good and fine. But we already know you cannot live on this earth without copying from what people have went through like gaining inspirations from where for what people have done trying to build your own trying to invent your own so bona boy apart from those uh, side talk from the internet i have absolutely massive respect to bona boy and to every other africa giant doing it every other africa artist doing it 
I don't want to see other Africa artists attempting and also succeeding in those venues that Bonaboy is performing currently. He is currently on tour. This guy hasn't rest for more than for, for more than four years now. He has been on the road, walking and walking and walking and walking and walking and walking and walking. Well, Bonaboy, the Odogo of Nigeria, continue to walk, but don't get exhausted. Why don't you chill like whiskey? Machala himself. So well, let me know exactly ask you uh, how you feel about that uh, news. Bonaboy is the highest paid Africa artist, and nobody come closer to him currently.